Yeah, welcome to my channel. We are still continuing with topic four elements of taxation, which is income tax, and we are going to be looking at taxation for employment income. Yeah, and under this we shall first start with by defining some key terms. Yeah, so we shall first define who an employer is. An employer is a person. A person can be an individual or a corporate who employs or remunerates an employee, someone who employs someone else, is what we call the employer. Then the employee is someone who is being employed by the employer. Or an individual engaged in unemployment is what we call an employee. Yeah. Then employment. Employment is regarded to exist where there is a contractual relationship of master and servant for pay. Contractual relationship of master and servant. The employer is the master. And the servant is the employee. Yeah, employment cannot sign office or an occupation. Then, remuneration arising from a contract of service is taxable under the employment tax scheme. If you receive remuneration or pay by working on a contract, it is taxed under employment income because you're an employee, you've received money for carrying out a contract. Yeah, by it. Earnings from a contract for service are taxable under business income regime. Earnings, like if the owner of the business earns from a contract, it is taxable under business income. So that is the difference. Now let's look at employment for tax purposes. What employment for tax purposes seeks to mean? Yeah. Employment for tax purposes, it seeks to mean first is position of an individual in employment of another. Position of an individual in employment of another is tended to refer to the ordinary meaning of employment. Ordinary meaning of employment in that someone is employed by another. Yeah. Then unemployment. An employment relationship does not exist where an individual is engaged on his or her own account as an independent contractor. If you're working on your own, it's not called employment. Yeah. Then, secondly, employment for tax purposes seeks to mean directorship of a company. Directorship of a company. A director is also an employee under the employment of a company to which he is a director. This implies that the director falls within the ambit of pay, just like other employees. So directors are also employees, just like others. Yeah. Then, employment for tax purposes seeks to mean also a position entitling an individual to remuneration or permanent or contractual or temporary payment. If someone is in a position that gives him permanent, temporary, or part-time income, that person is also regarded as an employee. Yeah. Then it also seeks to mean a person holding or acting in public office is also an employee. Yeah. So that is the meaning of employment for tax purposes. The four position of an individual in employment of another, directorship of a company, a position entitling an individual to remuneration on permanent or contractual, temporary or part-time basis, then holding or acting in public office. Yeah. So that was all about the introduction to employment income. And employment income is an income accruing to an employee as a result of service, services rendered in respect to the employee. That income that you receive after carrying out your duty. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share with your friends and watch my next video. We shall be looking at the composition of employment income.